These are the plaintiffs, Robert and Rosalie Smith. Robert says his wife was walking their dog when out of nowhere, the defendant's large hunting dog attacked, violently shaking their puppy, causing multiple puncture wounds. When they presented the bill to the defendants, they were told to bug the heck off and kicked off the property. Well, guess what? The defendants can bug off after they pay them the $1,170.82 they owe in vet bills in this lawsuit. How about that? These are the defendants, Kenneth and Mary Ann Nichol. Kenneth says he was walking his dog on a leash, and he pulled away and attacked the plaintiff's puny dog, thinking it was a squirrel or something. Then they lied to animal control, and he was fined 500 bucks for having a dog off leash, which he wasn't. When they stormed his house, waving a bill stating this was just the beginning, he felt threatened. Oh, them? No way. They're accused of not taking responsibility. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket. The plaintiffs say their wife was walking their pup when the defendant's hunting dog came along and viciously shook their pup. But the defendants say they were walking their dog on a leash when the dog pulled away and went after the plaintiff's dog because it thought it was a squirrel. It's the case of, I thought it was a squirrel. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Yes. You are suing Mr. and Mrs. Nickel, your neighbor, neighbors? All right, yes. how close are your houses? Our, how, uh, backyards abut. Backyards abut. Uh, you are suing them for vet bills and lost wages because their dog attacked your dog. Who was there when it happened? Ruin. Let me know what happened, tell me. Me? Yeah, the one who was there. You okay. raised your hand, honey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was walking my uh, Cavapoo. Uh, yeah, I can, do my... you have a picture of the Cavapoo? Yes, I do. He's four pounds oh, and- tiny little um, thing. I was walking him in the backyard um, of I my house know. on a leash. And, oh, um, in your own backyard? Yes. Okay. And um, out of nowhere, uh, this black dog, which was probably 40 or 45 pounds, came and just grabbed that little Okay, I have a few food. questions. So your yard's a butt, your, yes. your property's a butt. Are, is there a fence? No. We're right, not so allowed were, to have fences. You're not allowed to have fences? And no, it is a 55 and above um, community where you rent the property and you own your home um, in Florida. And, and so they don't let you have fences? No. Correct. So everybody's dog needs to, well, everybody's dog uh, then, because the, they're not fenced in, has to be on, on a leash. leash. So it, you go to your backyard with yes. your dog on a leash and their dog comes out without a leash? Yes. Okay, so the dog came and what did the dog do? It ran up to my dog and grabbed it in its mouth and started shaking it mm. like a rag doll. Right. And I, the, of course, the puppy started screaming and I started screaming. <laughs> and um, Mr. Nichols came around the corner and grabbed his dog by the collar and made him release my puppy. But by that time, my puppy had already been injured. Okay. Now, you take your dog to the vet, yes. and I have the vet bills. They total $945.82. What is it that the vet did with the dog? Um, she x-ray, well, she examined the dog and said, of course, there were injuries, so she, she went to... Um, were there any stitches? No, no stitches. They were puncture wounds. So what and did the vet do then? Because Cleaned the, them out and did what? cleaned them out, took x-rays because she felt there were internal injuries because there were large hematomas on his abdomen, which I did not see okay. because he had very long hair. Okay. So they shaved the dog right. to um, examine you know, the, the, that area where he had been bitten. That's what this picture shows, That's right? That's a hematoma, yes. And there's right. another one of a hematoma that you can see a little better. Now, this is a video of the doctor. Actually, yeah, she's speaking no, about the what she's doing okay, here, and it looks good. I don't see any fractures of the spine. Okay. Stomach looks good. Liver looks good. I'm losing some detail in this area. I've lost detail up in this area. So this is the two areas I worry about some bleeding. I do not see any bladder back in here. 
and I don't have a good abdominal line coming down through here. So I worried that there was some damage in that area, and this is where all the bruising is. Okay. okay. So at that point, she wanted to have a second opinion on the x-rays uh, because she wasn't... So what did she do to get a second opinion? She sent them to another uh, veterinarian. Okay. Vet veterinarian. The and she said that she was going wanted to observe the dog, so she wanted to keep him there. Okay. And she was going to take another set of x-rays okay. later and in the she, day. Did she do all that, and was there anything further that they had to do to nurse the dog back to health, or was that it? No, she just wanted him on antibiotics okay. because of the puncture wounds. And now, you ended up taking a day off from work as well, my or husband, half a day off. My husband You did. took the half a day off from work to take the dog to the vet, and you submitted some evidence of lost wages for that. What I'd like to know is, who was out there? Was it you? I was, was out it? there. All right, so what happened? How'd the dog get loose? Well, I had my, we have a puppy, uh, a German Shepherd puppy, and I was out back with, with my dog, and my wife was bringing Cody, or the black dog, out, and she had him on a leash. It's a big, long lead. And she came around, and he pulled away from her. He come running in the back to be with me, saw the dog, and that's when he attacked the dog. Okay, but how did the dog get away from you? Uh, he's strong. That's not supposed to happen. No, <laughs> no the, the leash came off. The clip oh, so, came off. So when she says come... your dog was off leash, she's right, though. I mean, your well, dog was either out of control because you let go of the leash, or right. the leash came off and the dog just had the collar. Right? Exactly. No, the, cop, the, well, yeah. the leash never came off the collar. Yeah. That's what she's saying, that it did. Yeah, no, the really? collar was on. Yeah, The no, collar I had to was on, but this. the leash stayed in your hand. And then I had to run out. And when I saw right, this was all happened, it was like less than a, a minute. But by that time, he had gone. What he thought was. So what's your defense? I'm sorry. It was an, it was an accident. It was a dog. Kenny went around after. Yeah, nobody's trying to put you in jail for no, deliberate. No, no, I didn't command the dog to do Well, I heard through the grapevine. No, 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 we're not going to get Wait, wait, I want to hear what he's saying. Wait, hold on. You be quiet. You don't talk so much. You talk. Go ahead. But you get wait, wait, wait. I want to know what I want to hear. Once I get started, I don't yeah, stop. Don't worry, don't worry. worry. Just tell me. Uh, you heard through the grapevine. heard through the grapevine in the neighborhood, neighbors and all, that th th this person said that I put a command for the dog to attack him, which never, <laughs> never in my mind Why would, would you I, do that? Why, why would anybody think you did that? I don't, did I you two have a problem before this? No, no, they don't, don't talk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you did you them. ever tell anybody that <laughs> Absolutely he? Absolutely not. No. Yeah, that sounds so crazy. Right. All right, so go ahead. I might add, if I, if I may. Well, no, not now. I want to yeah. hear what well, she has to say. What this all is about is he went right over and made sure the dog was okay. The dog was whimpering, and he said he because I was I was uh, really upset because I have a little dog of my own too. And I said, you know, is the dog okay? No, yeah, he's fine. It looks like she just shook up. You know, our Cody is the friendliest dog in the yeah, whole Yeah, unless you're the animal who got taken and yeah. like Animal Kingdom, right. Cody's a peach. But, All right, but so he, what is the he, defense? So tell me what happened here, why you haven't paid well, this Well, he went bill. around and told them that he would pay for the vet bills. Well, got I, it. No, I did, I did interrupt. No. Yeah, go ahead. I, I didn't walk around then tell him. I told him right, right there on then, the spot. Yeah. On the spot. When it immediately happened, I said, I'm so whatever. sorry. I'll pay for the vet right. bills, whatever I, they are. I apologize. And then Dump what happened and that I know I'm how here? They felt. I would feel the same way. So why am I here? A day later. Two days later. Two days later. Uh, my wife. How long I, have you two been married? 47, 47 years. years. 47. How long has she been finishing your sentences? <laughs> <laughs> Probably 40 She makes years. them better, so she does finish them. All that's, right, how go, go. Made, that's how we made it to 47. <laughs> go ahead. So go ahead. But, uh, so we're unloading our groceries from the store, and the uh, Manatee County uh, Animal Control van pulls up. And she comes up, and she tells us about the incident, and she said, you're being fined. Here's a fine for $500 for having your dog off the leash. I said, no. I said, the dog was not off the leash. I said, we didn't bring the dog out without a leash. No, but it, 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 off leash means even what Oh, happened. I know, I know. But I'm just saying the way it sounds, like we came out, let him have No, but if room. you have the dog on a leash and you let go of the leash because you're not in control, or if you have the dog on a leash and your leash breaks because you didn't have a good enough leash for the size of your dog, right. all those things are considered off leash. Yeah, I understand. So, so, so you got fined for so it. So I got fined for So your defense is, you're a jerk. Why did you call animal control and cost me right. an extra 500? That's your defense? Well, no, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it is because well, I. <laughs> no, it's wait. not a good. It's sound. not a good defense, <laughs> but it's like your that. defense. All right. So, if the dog breaks away, is the dog owner somehow negligent? Well, if uh, it's not intentional, negligent. it's not intentional. But is it negligent? Um, they would be probably liable if it hurts someone. Um, because they're the owners. Well, that's maybe enough going inside the courtroom. He came around right after 
this all happened with the county. He came around with he the, who uh, the, the plaintiff. The okay. Plaintiff. He and he had the, had a bill. And I wouldn't even know who he was. Kenny told me who he was. I, I don't really see these people. I, I thought the whole work. idea of a, of, a, of a retirement community was that everybody, that it's like a do college dorm and everybody knows well, each other. Well, it is. Uh, yeah. Well, no fences allowed, yeah, that, we, all that kind yeah. of thing. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> he, they, he came around with the paper. And I said, and they, we had just got the fine for $500. Well, you can imagine how. I said, why would you even call? As a neighbor, that is just something that somebody wouldn't do. Oh, I, my attorney told me to. I said, well, your attorney told you to. And, and he has You got an bill. attorney involved? A friend. I'm Why I you get a, your for... friend's a jerk. Oh, he <laughs> said, yeah. So then yeah, he goes But you have and, no defense. He you ran. have no defense. I realize that you're mad. Like, it's kind of like, why? No, it, I mean, but, why? Did you know it was going to cost some 500 bucks when you called? No, but I might add that many times, and I'm talking more than a dozen times, I've seen Mr. Nichols' dogs off leash running in neighbors' yards. I've heard neighbors complain about it. I've often right. heard him say, come back here, come back here. So it's not I true that his dogs okay. are not off leash. They are off leash quite right. a bit. And I felt I was doing a service by finally resolving this. I, I, uh, that, that's perfectly within your right. I mean, I would just like to think that it's not because a lawyer told you so. Because, no. okay. Um, so, but the, either way, that doesn't give you a justification for not paying the medical bills. You still have to pay the dog's medical bills and the lost wages. But he also is um, having the lost wages as well. Yes, because they, if he has to take a half a day off and he has, unlike a lot of litigants, he actually brought me proof that he had to take that half a day off to take the dog to the vet. Do you work, ma'am? No, I don't. Then why didn't she take the dog to the vet? She did take the dog to the vet. And what, after they did the initial examination, she called me at the office, and she was crying and hysterical. So I just decided I needed to leave and come back and be with her. Yeah, I don't think you get bed. lost wages in a situation like that. That's different. Then you, the reason you missed a day was not because you're the only one who could take the dog to the right. vet. It's because you wanted to be a good and supportive husband. God bless you. Um, you're a lucky woman <laughs> that that doesn't uh, qualify for lost wages then. But you certainly have zero excuse for not paying the vet bills and, of course, your court costs to be able to come, to, you know, to get this case to court. I am ruling in favor of the plaintiffs in the amount of $945.82. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Well, the judge decides that the defendants definitely owe the vet bill. D didn't you feel like you were going to have to pay that vet bill? Oh, I bill? knew. I knew. I, yeah. I, I knew I was in the wrong. I mean, no, I, was, no, no. What I we offered didn't... to pay the bill immediately when this happened. Yeah. It was just the circling of him calling and saying about my dog being a, my dog is no. I had a, a letter that I submitted to the judge from a neighbor saying my dog is a great dog. Well, he's with never. her dog. Never. never walked the leash. But, but you still. We're going to have to pay the vet bill. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could avoid com coming to court. Exactly. You know that. Yeah. But yeah. you know what he did? He, what? When he said, well, I didn't get a chance to say that. He said, you're going to be responsible for any vet bills yeah. I have for this dog. He said, you That's why I wanted it, it to go to court so I could just end it with just the vet bill. Not I can't further. believe you don't know each other. It's interesting. And you don't have no fences in your family? No, 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 no fences. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, very good. Yeah. Sorry people. about that. Okay, right. thank you very much. Thank you. Take care of your dog. Yes, sir. Keep him on the leash. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. All right, Mr. Smith, Mr. Yes. Smith. How do you feel? Fine. I feel uh, it was a fair result. I mean, you you were going to win. It was a hands down case. Mm -hmm. Yes, I thought so. And he wouldn't he wouldn't settle it with you. No, I think he was a bit upset about the five hundred dollar yeah. fine, and right. so I caught him at a bad time. Okay. Well, good enough. How's the dog, by the way? Dog's recovered fully and fully. Yeah. Doing, Doing fine. Great. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're 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 okay. Everything's yeah. all right. All right, yes. good enough. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Okay. Bye -bye. Harvey? So the leash law is not just having a dog on a leash, it's controlling the dog. And if you allow the dog to get away, you're negligent.